And it's a driver of the year debate. Now, obviously, we're coming to the end of this uh, truncated F1 season. Only four races to go. I mean, yeah, the constructors have won. You know, we already have a... Drivers, yeah. Yeah, we already we already have a... I mean, Lewis is winning this year. Yeah, uh, we already know that. <laughs> We've got enough data, I think, to look at to make uh, our decisions. So we're each just kind of going to give our, our own opinions as to who is the driver of the year. Um, we, we're not really going to go off of any concrete format, you know, doing the fancy F1 driver rating type thing. No, this things. is a feeling, and, guys. Yeah, this is... <laughs> 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 it's just a gut feeling that we're going to go with. We're voicing our opinions with our hearts today. Um, so I will guess I'll start off the, the debate and the roundtable, get it going. And, and I say that my driver of the year is hasn't been unchanged since uh, going back a couple of races now, and that's Pierre Gasly. And if you guys remember back actually to quite a few podcasts now ago before the Italian Grand Prix, I had said that Pierre Gasly was arguably the driver of the year, and I actually got some heat on that from the YouTube comments. I agree with that. you there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, lo and behold, I think two races later, he went out and won in Monza, which was amazing. Yeah. So, uh, but I think that Pierre Gasly has just driven incredibly well this year. And before even his win, he was putting in consistent top 10 performances, getting into Q3 and extracting the most out of that Alpha Tauri versus his teammate who hasn't been able to do that just yet. And then obviously it all just came to a head in Monza when he did uh, just an amazing race. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's shown that he can handle the pressure. He's shown that he can deliver under these circumstances. Unfortunate in this race that he had to retire because I think that he would have been on for a, a top five finish as well. So I think that he's just rejuvenated and reinvented himself at Alpha Tauri and has become a Grand Prix winner and uh, has become a team leader there at Alpha Tauri, so much so that Alpha Tauri won him in that team. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, obviously we kind of want him at a, at a bigger team to be able to fight more, but oh, he's getting wins. Or exactly. A win. A win. <laughs> same, same amount of win as Verstappen, right? So. For me, Gasly has Actually, been the driver of the year. Yeah, he's mixed max just really? has one win. Yeah. one win. Yeah, only one win. Yeah. They're equal. Oh. Right? So that's why he's driver of the year, guys. Oh. Driver yeah, of the only year. in Austria, right? That did Max win? Uh or Silverstone. Huh? Silverstone. Yeah. yeah, second race, or I think it was the second race at Silverstone. Yeah. So yeah, that that's my vote for for driver of the year. I think the whole uh 19 months that he's had, uh, you know, dating back to when he got demoted to now. Is just amazing, and uh, not not just his win, but everything. When you look at the small details of his driving and how well he's uh, leading that team, so Pierre Gasly, my vote for twenty twenty driver of the year. Do you want to go or me? You can go. Okay, my very good. I I agree with you. Yeah, I don't think we any of us disagree with no either yeah, of our we, opinions. We, we but we know what our actually I don't know what Ty, I think Tyler said he was going to pick somebody different. Oh yeah, because yeah, because right. <laughs> I, I I did say Gasly um, as as, as yeah. my driver of the year. But that's I think that's the obvious choice, uh, and and I think that's why you, the, you I, said I chose the same somebody. Thing. I, I, yeah, just for the I for, I don't disagree with any of our picks. Yeah, I think just for the debate purposes. Yeah, just for debate pers- purposes, we have different people. Um, my driver of the year would happen to be. The Flying oh. Dutchman. <laughs> the Flying Dutchman. I get, oh, I got it in that camera, too. I Max we got it. I thought this was a McLaren hat. Me, I'm too. Like, Who the fuck are you picking <laughs> right now? <laughs> I thought he was reaching for the uh, the Alonzo mug yeah, first. Yeah, but I'm like, <laughs> he's not even here, man. <laughs> Driver of the year. Didn't do anything wrong. Max Showed Verstappen. Up. Yeah, Max Verstappen is my driver of the year. Uh, I think he's provided us the most entertainment this season. He's provided us um, the knowledge on how much better he is than a normal F1 driver compared to Alex Albon and how much of a talent that he actually has. It, it, cause to see the difference between those two cars, I think, is really outstanding uh, and shows a lot to, to the talent that Max Verstappen has. And he's only 22 years old? 23 now. 23 now? Oh, so he just had his birthday? Yeah, October. Um, that's ridiculous. I mean, when did Lewis break into these break into F one at 21? 21, 21, 22? Yeah, yeah. 21, yeah. So I mean, it, it, like he's not that far off of where Lewis was at, at his age. Um, so he's got a long ways to go in this sport, and I think he's the second best driver on the grid in terms of talent. Um, behind Lewis, behind Roman Grosjean. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry. yeah, Grosjean. <laughs> um, but. Um, He's my driver of the year. He's given us the the most entertainment, as I mentioned, and uh, I think that he would, uh, if it wasn't for Max Verstappen, the season would really, really be rough. But uh, he's 
Thank God for Max Verstappen. Yeah, as, as title it, yeah. as title for one of our videos, uh, for one of our past videos. Thank God for Max Verstappen. Yeah, uh, but yes, my driver Sorry. of the season is uh, actually going to be the hat that uh, Chris is wearing, Daniel Ricciardo. Um, I thought about this for a lot. Pierre Gasly is absolutely a given driver of the season. Lewis is absolutely a given driver. Like these are ones that everybody's going to choose. I chose Daniel Ricciardo because we, as an F1 podcast and Ugh. YouTube channel, had written Renault off at the beginning yes, of the we season. We did. Um, I'm looking at the points difference between Daniel and his teammate, and there's like 55 points of difference. He's in fourth place. Got two podiums after two, you know, after two years of nothing, no podium, no getting nowhere close. Uh, I think it was just a big resurgence here for Danny Ricardo, and mm. he really showed up. I'm really hoping those tattoos count as two now because he has two <laughs> yeah. podiums. They did say he's, they're not; he's not getting two tattoos, <laughs> one for both cheeks. I think. I think he said though one of the other. Uh, mechanic or something said he'd get one. Oh yeah. So I think I think <laughs> it was... shouldn't the bet have been like if he gets a podium, Alan Prost fixes his nose. <laughs> like. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> but yeah, Daniel Ricardo just you know absolutely killed it, and you know, like Max Verstappen, provide us entertainment. We never yeah. thought we'd see a double shoot with Lewis Hamilton. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's true. I, I never thought I'd see that. That's true. Yeah, what a year this has become. Yeah, right? you know, it started off with you know a terrible start to the year in terms of everything happening, but yeah, it's it's been a yeah, silly year. Right? This, yeah, it's the entertainment mm. in F one. In the last like five six years, maybe not you know taking away the Nico Ros and Nico Rosberg year and Lewis Hamilton year, definitely up there for one of the better seasons of F one in my opinion. No, I like your yeah. choice too, and uh, it's probably it's one that I would uh, not disagree with. Yeah, um, and you know, obviously, have your say in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, maybe you had a different driver that's a driver of the year. Yeah. Obviously, like Lewis Hamilton is an obvious yes. choice, right? Don't, we we know we know Lewis he's a Hamilton. driver. Yeah. We know he's a great driver. Lewis we, has got an open goal, yeah. and all he has to do is just walk <laughs> yeah. the football yeah, in. Like we, we, we know he's yeah. a fantastic yeah. driver, and that's you know you can give him a driver this season. Every driver of the week, like every single race, yeah. like yeah. It, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but we just kind of want to go outside of that box and uh, and look at. So, let us know who you think uh, was the driver of the year. But uh, yeah, I, I agree with all of your choices. Um, I, I think those are probably in the top three if you were to put it. Yeah. Um, and I think those guys have like brought Sergio us. Perez is definitely creeping up there. There's another one. Yeah. But I think in yeah. terms of you know a full season, he did have some hiccups here and there. Uh, but. but yeah, I you know Sergio Perez was definitely knocking on the door there yeah. for for one of the drivers up there as well. Yeah.